my name is Catherine. I'm a certified personal trainer and the owner of Fit Armadillo. And I'm here today because it is Titan and Tone Tuesday. Last week on Titan and Tone Tuesday, I taught you how to calculate your BMI, body mass index, and I told you about some of the limitations of this scale. If you missed that video and want to know your BMI and those limitations, you can catch up with us and watch that video through this link right here. While the body mass index is a quick way for your physician to tell if you are overweight or at a healthy weight, it does have its limitations. To calculate your BMI, your doctor only needs to know your weight and your height. And as we talked about in last week's video, it can be skewed because it doesn't distinguish between muscle mass and fatty tissues in your body. Calculating your body fat percentage is a more accurate way of figuring out your overall health. And while there are many different ways to calculate your body fat percentage, some a lot more accurate than others, there's one way that's fairly accurate and you can actually do it from the comfort of your home. And that's what we're going to talk about today. To calculate your body fat percentage with us, if you are a woman, you're only going to need a measuring tape. If you're a male, you're going to need a measuring tape and a scale. So grab what you need and let's get started. The first measurement you need to take is your abdomen measurement. For the purposes of this equation, your abdomen is considered the circumference around your belly button. So you want to find your belly button and then take your measuring tape and go around at the belly button and write that number down. When you take this measurement and the other measurements I'm going to have you take, you want to make sure that you are recording them in centimeters. So either look at that side of your tape or convert your inches to centimeters before we get into the actual equation. The other circumference measurement that both men and women need to take is your hip circumference. And you're going to measure the widest part of your glute region. So find your butt and measure the widest circumference you can in that area in centimeters. In addition to your abdomen and hip measurement, you're going to need a few other measurements and those are going to vary depending on whether or not you're a male or female. For women, we also need to know your height in centimeters and your age. If you're a man, we don't need your age or your height, but we do need your weight in kilograms and another circumference measurement, and that's the iliac circumference measurement. The iliac measurement is just a circumference measurement taken at your hip bones. So you want to find your hip bones and then take your measuring tape around your body at that level and write that number down in centimeters. Once you have these measurements down, remember we're in centimeters and kilograms, you're going to calculate a number called your body density. So I'll put up those equations. Once you have your body density, you're going to put that number into the equation to find out your body fat percentage. That equation is this one right here. Once you calculate your body fat percentage, that's great, but you probably want to know what that value means. If your body fat percentage comes out to be between 25% and 31% and you're a woman, you are in the average body fat percentage range. If your body fat percentage is 32% or higher and you're a woman, then you're in the obese range. For men, your body fat percentage is considered in the normal range. If your body fat comes out to be between 18 and 24%, and you're considered obese if your body fat percentage is 25% or higher. Now that you've watched this video, I want you to take action now. If you haven't calculated your body fat percentage yet, I want you to do so. And then I want you to leave a comment below this video telling me about your results. You don't have to tell me your actual body fat percentage, but I do want to know if it's what you expected or not, and if you calculated your BMI, how your body fat percentage relates to your BMI. Did you learn something by watching this video? If you did, I would love for you to share it with your friends and on social media. Thank you so much for stopping by for this week's Titan and Tone Tuesday. I hope you have a great week, great workout, and to see you soon.